we are still working on the practice in, on lesson A of the solving polynomials unit. So we're factoring completely. We'll start with A, B, and C. 2 times 6 is 12. And the factors of 12 are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Remember that the number in front of the x squared is a 1. And will any of those combine to be um, 1? Which is going to be here. And we can do 3 minus 4, which equals negative 1, or 4 minus 3, which equals positive 1. So we need to have a positive 1, so it's going to be this one. And when we fill this back in, it's 2x to the 4th um, plus 4x squared minus 3x squared minus 6. And then here is a group. Here is a group. Uh, biggest number that divides into 2 and 4 is 2. Between x to the 4th and x squared is going to be x squared. Lowest exponent. 2 divided by 2 is 1. We had 4x's. We took out 2. We still have 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. We had 2x's. We took them out. In our next group, the biggest number that divides into 3 and 6 is 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1x squared. Negative 6 divided by negative 3 is positive 2. And then what we've got, x squared plus 2 and x squared plus 2. And then our other group is what's not in common, the 2x squared from the first group and the minus 3 from the second group. Problem number 4. A, B, and C. The number in front of the x to the 4th is 1. 1 times 15 is 15. So factors of 15 are 1 and 15, and 3 and 5. Will either of those combine to be 2? Either add or subtract to be 2 the 3 and the 5. So it could be 3 minus 5, or it could be 5 minus 3. We need negative 2. So 3 minus 5. Filling back in, it's going to be x to the 4th, and then it's going to be the minus 15. When we split the middle, it's going to be plus 3x squared minus 5x squared. And here's a group, and here's a group. <coughs> Greatest common factor in the first group is x squared, the lowest exponent. We had 4x's, we took out 2, we still have 2. We didn't do anything with the 3, we had 2x's, but we took them out front. In our next group, the biggest number that divides into 5 and 15 is 5. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. We didn't do anything with the x squared. Negative 15 divided by negative 5 is positive 3. And we've got x squared plus 3. And then x squared minus 5. 